Welcome to another episode of Too Many Games and Not Enough Time. Now you already know the drill. I sit down with a friend from the industry and find out what they're playing now they have too much time on their hands. Now on today's show, I've got a presenter, a content creator, a production genius mastermind. He goes by the name of Durani Mischief. What's going on my brother? How's it going, man? You right? I'm good. So how is quarantine? Well, I can't even speak. How is <laughs> quarantine affecting you? Um, do you know what? Yeah, it's not that bad. I think being a gamer, yeah, the quarantine life isn't hitting as hard as other people. It's like it's not hitting as hard because we're used to just, like sitting in front of uh, screens, playing games, and enjoying it. People, we actually, want... we actually like staying home. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, so I think it's fine. Me personally. I'm fine. I've got all the time in the world to play all the games, so. So, in terms of work, you're a presenter like me. Like, I've lost so much presenting work due to um, COVID-19. Obviously, that's a minor compared to what's happening in the real world. Like, people have lost their lives and it's had a huge effect on the world. How has it had an effect on your work or your mental stability? Um... As I said, like uh, you say, presenter, but it's it's aspiring. I'm still on the come up, so I'm looking for jobs and trying to get jobs like pattern for me. But um, yeah, jobs cancelled, you know, because I'm fresh, brand new face. I got given an opportunity, a chance to uh, be an esports host. Me, big personality. They wanted me for my personality, and that is the craziest thing. Not having to conform to something else. They said, yo. I want you to come and host this big, big um, show. And um, all the events got cancelled. I see E3 get cancelled. I see Gamescom get cancelled. I see EG, uh, EGX gets cancelled. And then I said, every okay. Team, every team event team gets cancelled. And then my event got cancelled as well. This was like first paid job, um, first real break. And then I don't even get the chance to show like show no, my ability you know you what i mean we'll so. get a chance it's just being put on hold because of, of course no nah, nah, no doubt no doubt i'm trying to put the, the vibes into the air all right so let's go straight on to the show all right so my first question is what are you playing now you've got all of the time on your hands what games are you playing now, i've got a feeling i know what you're gonna say because you just dropped a piece of content so what I are did. you playing right now at the moment i'm, I'm gonna say Warzone is just there. Warzone is there. As you said, I did just make a video about it. Warzone, I'm enjoying it. But um, it's not the game that actually has the most of my attention at the moment. It's actually Doom. Doom Eternal. Um, been playing that a lot. Um, Doom. Yeah, you got put on the bass for that one now. Nah, but um, Yeah. Now, nah, Doom is sick. I'm not going to lie. If you are someone that likes shooters, but likes to play like with a lot of mechanics and learn about flow because it gives you so many tools and then you can essentially just use every single one of them and go bonkers you can go nuts in doom so i did some i did a doom special with um jinx tv yeah um, and what i really love about doom is doom you can be not even a good shooter you could just be running around manic shooting things punching glory kills and have a great game or you could be someone who's proper tactical understands where to aim where to shoot and have a good game and mm. i find a lot of fps's don't really give you that like i love cod but because i'm not the sickest person at first person shooters i play the campaigns like that's mm. my game i like to be lost in a story and i love the campaigns on cod but whenever i mm. go online i'm just getting headshots left right and center yeah it's rough it's brutal and I think the good thing about Doom is, even if you're not the sickest shooter in a game, it makes you feel like you're the sickest shooter in a game. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. And I think the fact that it gives you so many different, um, what are they called, like accessibility options as well. There's like easy, normal, hard, super hard, hard, like like the, the list just goes on. So I think it's nice, everyone can play. And I think it's just fun. If you just want to shoot some people, it's fun. Cause you mentioned story, but I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I don't know what is going on in Doom that's, story. That's how mate. sick Doom is. The story don't make no sense and it doesn't even doesn't matter. Make any Me sense. as a story gamer, I don't care about Doom's story. 
yeah. I just care about feeling powerful and the glory kills. Like I think it's such a sick mechanic that you're running around and shooting and your life is dissipating. But instead of like other games like cover based shooters where you'd hide and you'd wait to be able to get some health, the mm. way you get health is busting bare heads. Yeah. Nah, it's good. It's got a lot of um what's the word I would use? Momentum. Yeah, yeah. there's the game's got yeah. a lot of momentum. Yeah, that's, Very that's, forward thinking. Yeah. That's definitely the word momentum. Alright, so we all got so much games to play, you haven't had enough time to play them all. What is the game in your backlog that you're gonna go back and make sure you play? At the moment, and if anyone is listening to this that knows me and has played this game beforehand, it is uh, Ori and the Blind Forest. Yeah, and no one told me that this game was any good. I saw it way back when. I think Ori came out in 2014 or something like that, yeah. No one told me. I thought this is a game for youths. This is a game (laughs) for kids. And But it is... um, It's just that Hollow Knight. It is a... um, metroidvania style of game platformer it's it's so surprising because like you said the visual style looks so because it's so cute like it's cute it's got really pretty colors and it would mislead you that you'd buy it for your little brother and this is what happened but this game is a serious thing yeah it's mad i'm about halfway through at the moment the only reason i even thought to download it it was on xbox game pass and uh the new one just came out will of the wisps will yeah, of the wisp um, i think it's called and um right up uh, mini midas was saying that he's been playing yeah, that one. yeah and um yeah i see people playing that on twitch and i was like okay let me see what this is actually saying i started watching the gameplay i was like oh hold on but yeah i cannot believe no one told me how bad boy this game was i'm surprised I'm very surprised but it's all right i'll find out for myself that's what games are they're eternal you can play them as a matter of come out six years ago i'm still having fun right now is it difficult yes not uh it's it's manageable i think if you're if you're techie like if you know what you're doing like it's easy when you know how i'll yeah. say there's yeah there's ways around it but it is i thought to myself I wonder what would happen if a kid did actually play this game. Like if a like a seven year old, six year old played this game, how would they would probably struggle? Because there's a couple of moments where I'm like, "Yo, I'm about to fling my controller through the screen." Uh, like, do you know what? So I think that, but then I think when I was a youth, the games that used to come out like on like Super Nintendo and Mega Drive were hard. Like Lion King yeah. is known as like one of the hardest <laughs> platformers. And I used to play that Aladdin Battle Toads, fam. I used to play mm-hmm. Battle Toads. Do you know how yeah. hard Battle Toads are? Battle yeah. Toads is a madness for being yeah. hard. So yeah. I think, I think with us like adults, because we've got so much things on, going on in life, if we keep losing to something, we just get fed up and we're like, oh, yeah, whatever. we walk away. Mm-hmm. Unless you're playing something like Bloodborne. But I think with a kid, they'll just keep on going over and over and yeah. over again. Especially mm-hmm. if it's their only game, like they will yeah. make sure they get as far as they can get. Yeah, nah, I, I, I banged it out. It's enjoyable. It's not one of those ones where you get frustrated, but I think the feeling of accomplishment when you do actually like get past a tricky uh, part in the stage outweighs the frustration, if that makes sense. You'll be frustrated for two seconds, but then you're happy for way longer. So, yeah, man. All right, cool. All right, so my third question is quarantine. I'm locked down. All I'm doing is playing like the same game right now i've just been banging up persona 5 royal i'm living yeah. in japan right now hey. like you get me i'm gonna get a tokyo name i'm eating ramen like i need something different i'm waiting for final fantasy 7 remake yeah. to emerge w- waiting for resident evil what game should i play while i'm in quarantine should you play while you're in quarantine oh wow you know what it's weird because i know me and your tastes are very different when it comes to gaming so this would be a very hard one to uh, recommend but i'm gonna play it safe um i'm gonna say hollow knight hollow knight. i'm gonna okay. i'm gonna say hollow knight it is i think that's a game for everyone as a, like, uh, the reason i say that is because of ori in the blind forest we we're just speaking about it but um same concept 
different art style yeah so, it's more like yeah. 2d sprite based kind of art yeah style. it's all hand drawn it's all hand drawn uh hand drawn team cherry the guys that make it like two-man team but it's all hand drawn it is super hardcore like when i say this has to be one of the most frustrating games i've ever played but it's like yo what do you play on do you play on a switch or I played it on a Switch, it's on PC as well. And I think it's on the other consoles too. But I'm telling you, play it on the Switch because you're gonna wanna take it everywhere with you. You wanna play it in the bathroom downstairs no, in the living room. I was gonna you're gonna room. say in the bath, like hanging off the bath like that. Hey? Like that. Risk it, I'm telling you, this is a game I would risk dropping my Switch in the bathroom. Mad? No, you can't buy Switches right now, you know? Switches oh, that's are, true. You can't buy Switches in the Gold UK. Dust. I ain't risking that, and I've got two, but still not risking hey, that. I got, I got my one, I got my one <laughs> right here, local always. But um, yeah, definitely Hollow Knight, man. All right, so one more question. Like yeah. some people might not know that not only are you a presenter, you are a creative. So you both um, produce music, you spit bars, you um a sick editor and videographer like you even did my show reel which is sick you did the first episode of this is where i love this is why this is why this is where i love so while you're quarantined what is yeah. the piece of kit what is the one piece of quick kit that's going to help you push yourself creatively as a creative individual um brand new purchase actually this right here, Woo! this right here. You saying a new, new MacBook Pro, this yeah? This right here, as a creative, people always say like, oh yeah, Mac this, Mac that is, this. oh, you can build a PC for the same price, man. <laughs> Shut up, man. Listen, the MacBook is, it's just a powerhouse. It's too sick, uh, portability, the power. Uh, you can even game on these things now, before you Any couldn't. In the bath, yeah? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> nah, seriously, um, MacBook and, um, that's about it really. I would say camera, not so much because nowadays you don't have to have a bad boy camera to, to make content, in, like no need for that. But um, for me personally, the MacBook all the way. I'm too used to it. People say, oh, I edit on um, Final Cut, as you know, and people always say, oh, come to Premiere, man, it's better. But listen, it's not even about the, the software. It's about the software that you know well, the best I, and that's the exactly. one. Exactly, like, I, I started on Final Cut, but I edit on Premiere now on my Mac just because yeah. I just I'm yeah. just used to it now. Yeah. No, nah, definitely. But um yeah man, that the MacBook Pro is just too it's just too sick. It's everything. As you said, um film, edit, take pictures, edit pictures, record. We're, we're doing this hey. right now, right now on my MacBook Pro. So Exactly. And this man. ain't no Mac ad. Apple ain't paying us for Are you sure? <laughs> Let me tell Steve Jobs that oh, I don't live in Steve Jobs anymore. Rest Tim in Cook. Peace, man, like Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so before you leave, tell the people yeah. where they can find you. On everything. So Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. There any mischief, all one word. You can find me, go follow. And uh, yeah, let's create a conversation about games, man. I'm always memeing on there, sharing content. I'm trying to be more consistent, but um, yeah, go find me, man. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Too Many Games and Not Enough Time. Now make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tell us in the comments. Come on, man. The comment section's there. We want to know what games you're playing now you are in quarantine. I go by the name of Mr. Midas. He goes by the name of Mischief. And we are out. Deuce. Peace.